Hi kids, are you ready for the lesson of today? Okay, I know all of you are excited for the lesson or all of you are excited to do the dance and learn your memory verse. So to continue, let's all do the actions for the prayer. Open, close. Open, close. Let's join our hands together and let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for another amazing day that you have given me. Thank you for all of my friends that are here. I ask you to help me learn something new and to put it in practice in my everyday life. In the name of your son Jesus, amen and I have it. Okay, now I'm going to tell you something kids. The team, the memory verse, and the conclusion, they are very, very easy. And I know that all of you are smart. All of you are smart? Yes, I know all of you are smart. So let's continue with our team. And it says, the power of praise and prayer. Again, the power of praise and prayer. Okay, now let's have only the girls. Okay, only the girls. Okay, now the boys. Yes, all of yours. Martin, you see? You already learned it. But now let's say all together as loud as we can. One, two, three. The power of praise and prayer. Okay, kids. So now... Let's all stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, and we're going to do a dynamic song. So everyone stand up, stand up. Okay, and let's go with the dynamic. Stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp, stomp your feet. Swing, swing, swing your arms. Swing, swing, swing your arms. Dance everybody and sing with me. Jump around. Jump, jump, jump around. Touch the sky and touch the ground. Touch the sky and touch the ground. Shake, shake, shake your hips. Shake, shake, shake your hips. I know a song and it goes like this. I know a song and it goes like this. La, la, la. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the dynamic song. I hope that you did it all with everything that you had. Now, let's all sit down. And everyone sitting down, sitting down, sitting down. And let's go with our memory verse that's very, very, very short and very easy. So now, let's go to our memory verse. Hi, kids. Are you guys excited to learn this week's memory verse? Yes, I know y'all are excited, but before we begin, I need you all to listen very carefully and I'm sure that everyone will learn it because this week's memory verse is very easy. 
This week's memory verse goes like this. I will say it and then you repeat after me. I will praise you as long as I live. I will praise you as long as I live. I will praise you as long as I live. Now, the second part goes like this. I will lift up my hands in prayer to your name. I will lift up my hands in prayer to your name. I will lift up my hands in prayer to your name. So now let's join those two sentences to make the verse. I will praise you as long as I live. I will lift up my hands in prayer to your name. Okay, kids, this is found in Psalms 63, 4. Psalms 63, 4. Psalms 63, 4. Now let's see the whole thing complete. I will praise you as long as I live. I will lift up my hands in prayer to your name. Psalm 63, 4. Okay, now we will be playing a game so that we can review our memory verse to see if everybody learned it. So kids, in this game, we have about 12 balloons and each balloon contains a little paper that ha either has the word safe, lose or trivia in it so uh there will be two players and i will be picking two balloons and one player will be choosing one of two balloons and they will pop that balloon and whatever the word that is on the paper they will have to they will either be safe they will lose or they will have to answer a bible trivia question so let's invite benji and analia to play with us so to see who will pick first, let's play rock, paper, scissors, please. Two, go three. Okay, Ala, you can pick one. Okay. Pop it? Pop it. Repeat the view. Pop it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, so Benji has to answer a Bible trivia question. Let's see. You. Uh, <laughs> I'm lost. So uh, Benji has one point now, and if he can answer the question, he gets another point. But if he doesn't answer correctly, Allah gets the point. Be a spear. <laughs> okay, so your question will be, um, who was the leader during during when the walls of Jericho fell? Joshua. Yes, Joshua. Woo! So now, who won? This is your question. Okay, yeah. so Benji can pick one, whatever one you want. Okay, pop it. <laughs> See, okay, so Allah has zero points and Benji has two points. So you can pick again. Pick again. Trivia. Trivia. Okay. 
let's find another question from Yeah. Uh Anna Lydia. What is this week's memory verse? <laughs> This week's memory verse is I will praise you as long as I live I will praise you as long as I live I will lift my hands up in prayer to you I will lift my hands up in prayer to you Psalms Psalm 63 4 4 Speak <laughs> okay. again Okay. So now, Analia has to say the memory verse once again. So, come on and share the memory verse. I will praise you as long as I live. I will praise you as long as I live. I will lift my hands up in prayer to you. I will lift my hands in prayer <laughs> Psalm 63 4. <laughs> Psalm 63 4. Okay, so we only have three balloons now. So you can pick yeah, whatever one you want. Okay. Come on. Let's see what you could have done. Save. Save. Yeah. Okay, save. <laughs> you guys pick out the trivia questions at the beginning. So now we'll review the memory verse which the boys and the girls. So let's start off with the girls since they lost. <laughs> I will praise you as long as I live. I will praise you as long as I live. I will lift my hands up in prayer to you. I will lift my hands up in prayer to you. Psalm 63, 4. Psalm 63, 4. And now let's see if the boys know it. <laughs> I, will pr I will praise you as long as I live. I will praise you as long as I live. I will lift my hands up in prayer to you. I will lift up my hands in prayer to you. Psalm 63, 4. Psalm 63, 4. Okay kids, I hope you all learned your memory verse. Right? It was very, very easy. Bye kids!
I know you enjoyed it too, but let's not forget who do we do the songs? Why do we do the songs? Why do we do the songs? Yes, we do it for God to praise Him. Why do we do it? To praise Him. To who do we do the songs for? For God. Yes, that's why we need to give our very, very best to God. So now, Let's all sit down again. Everyone sitting down. Tell your neighbors. Tell them. Mm -hmm. Let's all pay attention to the lesson. But I'm going to introduce you to some of my friends. Two of my friends to be exactly. So, are you excited to meet one of my friends? Two of my friends? Yes? Okay. So, but they're a little bit shy sometimes so we need to welcome them so they can feel our love so let's all say welcome friend okay we need to say it as loud as we can so they can come so one two three okay let's do it one more time as loud as we can one two three Okay. Hello, hello children. How are you? My name is Ka Kachita. And I brought a friend and I want her to introduce herself. Hello kids. My name is Chinita. We are very excited to tell you the story. So please, pay close attention. Yes, children. This story is about two brave men who went through difficult situations, but did not lose heart. Their names are Paul and Silas. They went to different places talking and teaching about Jesus, the Son of God. But in a place called Philippi, some people spoke ill, ill of them. And you know what, children? They grabbed and hit them. They took off their clothes and hit them 
hard on their backs. Kids, can you imagine what pain Paul and Silas went through? But they were not satisfied with hitting them. They also put them in jail and told the jailer to watch them very closely. Therefore, the jailer got them in the farther part behind the cell. I imagine the farther back was dirty and stink, but there they were putting up with this unfair treatment just for talking about Jesus. But not only that, not only that was done to them, my kids, they also tied their feet to some very large and heavy pieces of wood. Kids, with all that, they were happy because their trust was in God. And at midnight, they began to pray and sing very happily, giving their better worship to God, despite what they were going through. The prayer and singing that they were doing with all their hearts, they came to the presence of God. And it had much power that it started at tremble so so strong that the walls shook so much and the jail doors opened also the chains of the feet were broken and so they had opportunity to run and flee kids i have a question were you going to flee yes no okay but paul and silas did not they were able to overcome the temptation to run away they just stayed in a corner and the other prisoners were so amazed at how they worshiped god that they didn't even run away in all this the jailer was asleep and the and the tremor woke him up and when he went and saw the jail the jail doors open he said they're all gone better i take off my life and he grabbed his sword to kill himself what are you going to do don't take your life we are all here so the jailer asked for a light and when it came he saw that they were all there the jailer was so amazed and fell on his knees before Paul and Silas and said, thank you, thank you. No one ex escaped. And he asked them, what do I have to do to be saved? They replied, believe in the Lord Jesus and you and your family will be saved. Paul and Silas shared the Lord's message with the jailer and everyone in his house. Then while it was still night, the jailer took Paul and Silas to another place and washed their wounds. Paul and Silas then baptized the jailer and his entire family. Wow, kids, we saw that through prayer and praise, the power of God was manifested through an earthquake that opened the jail doors and broke the chains that bound them. The jailer saw how God saved him from taking his own life. And not only that, now the jailer, jailer and his family already have Jesus in their heart. Kids, when you have problems at home, please don't think to kill yourself. Just start singing and praying. And no matter what the problem is, God will fix it. We have already seen that prayer and praise have power when we do it wholeheartedly. Kids, when you communicate with God in prayer and praise, God will bring solutions to your problems. I hope you have learned something today. 
and that you put it into your practice. Yes, my kids. Well, as my little friend here said, I hope that you can all practice it. Before we go, we want to sing with you. Please stand up and do the actions with us. Me dio un gran regalo y fue su amor y ahora quiero cantar. Mis manos alzaré moviendo la cabeza, dando muchas vueltas, muy muy alto saltaré y con todas mis fuerzas danzaré a Jesús mi salvador. I hope that you all have enjoyed this wonderful story. But now, we have to go now. So, please take good care of yourselves, okay? Bye! Bye! Wow, kids. What an amazing lesson. Interesting and beautiful lesson. And thank you to our friends that came and told um, the lesson. So, kids, as we sang the lesson, Paul and Silas were, they were whipped. They were put to jail, but they still worshipped and praised God and prayed to God with their whole heart. Yes, they did. They gave their best to God, even though in, the, in that situation that they were in. And maybe sometimes, even though we are kids, we go through situations maybe with our parents, but we still need to give our best, worship our best, praise to God in those difficult moments. So let's all repeat with me so everyone repeating with me praise and prayer have power praise and prayer have power okay one more time praise and prayer have power okay now the second part when we do it with our whole heart when we do it with our whole heart okay now let's put the two pieces together oh, no you will say it by yourself Okay, kids, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. So to end off, let's do a prayer. Open, close. Open, close. Let's join our hands together and let's pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for an amazing lesson. Thank you for my friends. Thank you for just giving the, an amazing lesson, exciting lesson. Now help me to put everything that I learned into practice in my life in the name of your son jesus amen and i have it back it see you next week